Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again, and welcome to episode 25, question mark, of the Twitch career mode. I genuinely cannot remember, let me check. Yes, it is 25. We had 24 go up yesterday morning. So, uh, welcome. As always, feel free to skip forward a few minutes on YouTube so that you uh, don't effectively have to watch me sit here and just talk to people as they join the stream, etc. We will get going sooner rather than later. Let me mute that in the background so it doesn't uh, loop for you. It's been a while since I've had face cam. Not been doing any face cam on the Formula One stuff because I just concentrate so hard on the gameplay. I would be boring to watch, so I don't have the uh, the face cam on for the Formula One. Plus, that game is so pretty, such a gorgeous looking game that you don't really want my face uh, blocking up the uh, the screen. But uh, I am going live now. Let's have a look. Uh, has it tweeted out? Has it tweeted out? It's tweeted out for me. Oh no, that's the YouTube video. Oh no, it did tweet out for me. Good. Good, good. Everybody's back. Everybody's on their way. Odd your conflicts. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so, Alex. There's a wild odd conflict. I need to get Nightbot in, don't I? Come on, Nightbot, on your way. In your We've got a massive game to start off with. A huge game to start off with. Real Madrid in the Champions League at the Bernabeu. <laughs> Uh, then Fulham, not quite so big, but it is away. And then City in the Cup. And uh, we'll probably... I um, might be able to get West Bromwich in before uh, the end of today. And then Roma, Stoke and Chelsea for tomorrow's stream. Obviously you stream FIFA at the weekend, so today being t Saturday, stream it tonight. Tomorrow being Sunday, stream it tomorrow. You're watching from Turkey. Thanks for watching from Turkey, bro. Yeah, all the hair's gone. All the hair's gone. I've got all short now. It's all gone. I love it. No. I just got bored. I wanted something that was more manageable. So I just got rid of it. Just got rid of it all. In before you have a titch hat trick. Uh, no, thank you. You might. I don't know where he's still at City on this game. I presume he is. We've made loads of signings actually this season. You're watching from England. Oh wait, that isn't exciting. I love the A40s Flickify. They're absolutely fantastic, perfect for streaming, being able to hear what's going on on the Xbox and on the PC as well. Uh, Formula 1's getting done during the week, Small Don. I always stream FIFA 15 at the weekends. All other games will be midweek. Am I bold? I'm not a font, mate. I can't be bold. Bold? Yeah. B-A-L-D, but bold. I can't be bold. I'm not a font. I can maybe do that and then I'll be italic. I'm slightly slanted. Pardon me. But yeah, Formula 1 will be during the week, boys. Formula 1 will be during the week. The F1 game is incredibly fun, but I promise people that I stream FIFA 15 at the weekend, or FIFA at the weekends, and I'm going to continue to do that, because obviously I'm more, more well known for FIFA than I am anything else, so that's why. I'm going to start, as of Monday, I'm going to start streaming a lot more in the week, uh, during the week. I'm going to put up a little video tomorrow. I'm going to put up a little video tomorrow on the YouTube channel on Chesnoy Gaming uh, explaining effectively what's going to happen with all of the streams during the week. But I'll give you a quick rundown of um, the side right now for anyone that missed the last weekend streams where we made a few signings. A few signings. In fact, a lot of signings, actually. We took advantage of a glitch we didn't even know existed until it happened. But our starting lineup now is Tim Krull, which we had anyway. Uh, Danny Rose, who we had anyway. Jan Vertonghen. We've now got Ezequiel Garay as my starting right centre-back. Alongside Jan Vertonghen with Carl Walker at right-back still. Uh, in the holding mids, we've moved Dembele and Kevin Prince to uh, to CDM. Uh, we've got Yannick Balassi on the left, but I think that's only because I have an injury to someone, isn't it? Yes, Felipe Anderson is injured, who's obviously a new signing. Uh, and we've got Carlos Vea on the right instead of... Uh, Eric Namella, so Carlos Vea is a new signing. Julian Draxler at Cam, he was playing left mid last season, but now we're playing him at striker, and Alvaro Morata is still my uh, main striker. 
I uh, I didn't actually buy any strikers this window. We've still got Vieto Martial, or last window, Vieto Martial and uh, Alvaro Morata as my main three strikers. But on the bench, other players we've brought in are Dragovic, a centre-back, although obviously he can play central defensive midfielder as well. So it's nice to uh, to have a player that's that versatile. Uh, other players on the bench, Fekir and Delph we, and Vieto were brought in last season, so they're not new. Uh, Vlakadimos is a left-back by trade. as a youngster we brought in through the youth squad. He's left back by trade, but his stats lend themselves oh, his stats lend themselves very nicely to a left mid with a lot of pace, great crossing, good ball control, good dribbling, and tackling wise, terrible. So why he's down as a left back, I don't know. And only a left back and centre back. His positionings are really weird. So if I do use him, it will be at left wing or left mid. We've also also bought in Ayman Abdenor as well, centre back. And we brought in Felipe Anderson to play out wide although he is currently injured I'm not sure what with quickly check the injury list he's out with a sprained knee but will be back in 13 days which is still a couple of weeks away obviously what will he be back for the game against no he's not gonna be back until probably yeah! this Roma game that was so legitness. we won't yeah, it was that was legitness yeah what is hot we get a donation I actually apologies I need to actually turn on my stream tip software so that may not have come up on the, or it, I might need to add that in to actually have your name come up on the on the thing. Let me quickly check my software because I'm not so sure, not too sure. It's even logged me out of Streamtip. I'm not too sure who that donation was from. Let me quickly check. Apologies. It's from Irish Tiger HD. <laughs> oh, here's the audio conflicts. Irish Tiger, uh, one pound. Thank you very much. I presume that's you, Alex. With your little wavy guy, odds your conflicts. Uh, let me... Uh, Irish Tiger HD. Let me just redo that thing so it shows up on the uh, on the bottom of the stream. Uh, amount, one pound, send alert. There we go. And that should then show up on the bottom. There it does. Irish yeah! Tiger HD. Even though that was legit pretty sure that's Alex, that but was. yeah. I think it's, that's the same one, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Uh, I'm not planning on having a set length for the afternoon streams, bro, to be completely honest. They're just going to be as however long they are. It actually isn't you, is it not? Is it not, is it not you, Alex? Oh, well, thank you, Irish Tiger HD. <laughs> for the pound. It's just a, a username I didn't... Oh, no, sorry, I didn't... I've never seen your username before, Irish Tiger. I apologise. Thank you very much for the um, for the one pound donation. It was, it was just the way you had the, like, the little guys and the odd your conflicts. It just made me think it was Alex trolling. <laughs> Cheers, bro. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the one pound. Uh, yeah, Football Manager streams are going to return next week as well. Man United Co. Like I say, I'm going to be uploading a little update video onto the YouTube channel tomorrow, letting you know what's happening with my streams. That way, you will know exactly what's going on. How was the British Grand Prix? The British Grand Prix was eventful. The footage will go up on the second channel uh, as soon as I get it edited all together, etc. So soonish. I've got what I've got the first six races edited together. I'm just waiting on a friend to uh, make the thumbnail for me, and then I can start uploading those. You literally came in to spread autism. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you joined, donated a pound, and then left again. Fair enough. Ta. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still qualifying for the Hungarian Hungarian Grand Prix. Choose one: Chinese or Indian. I don't like Chinese or Indian food. To be completely honest. Um, well, we got Real Madrid in this first game. Although a few players are quite well. No, then they could probably start with fitness like that, can't they? Or do I really want to start? I want to. St I need to start my strongest lineup, don't I? Against against uh, a side like Real Madrid, regardless of whether they're ninety five percent fit or not. Uh, we will have to play. Should we play yellow? No, we're playing black. We've got a wild Pepe. I don't know what signings they've made actually, but yeah, I'm quite happy. Quite happy with my starting lineup as is. So we'll jump straight in.
Uh, past broadcasts are only available to subscribers. Who was it that mentioned it? Uh, Eden Hazard Fan 10. The past broadcasts are only available to subscribers, but the F1 footage is going to go up on my second channel. It is going to go up on my second channel, both an edited version of the race and the full stream. So if you miss it, you can check the second channel for it. It's just going to, it's taken me a while to get the footage to start to go up. But once it starts to go up, it will be coming out in a consistent fashion. So you'll be able to watch the football, the football, the Formula One footage on my second channel. If I do that, Nightbot should put the second channel link in the chat. Uh, I have seen Mexis' goal against Inter, yeah. Pretty impressive strike. Pretty impressive strike. The new career mode will start coming on Monday, Jack. Providing that uh, I'm able to get the thumbnail off uh, my friend Joe Bellin HD before Monday. If not, it will have to wait till Wednesday. But I'm pretty sure if I uh, ask Joe, he'll be able to do the thumb for me tomorrow. And the Barcelona career mode will start on Monday. I've already recorded the first episode. Oh, I didn't check to see who was in their side. <laughs> uh, I'm not planning on doing any Ultimate Team stuff on FIFA 16. I might stream Ultimate Team, but I'm not planning on doing an Ultimate Team series on YouTube, no. What's the song called when people subscribe? I think my subscribe song, um, it's, po it's uh, White Iverson by Post Malone. So, yeah, it's White Iverson until by Post Malone. Aguero was the only transfer, was it? Joe Bellin, HD's Uh Yeah, let's have a look and see what the lineup they're putting out. Uh, Ronaldo, Aguero, Bale, Modric, Cadira, Cruz, Carval, Pepe, Ramos, Marcelo, Casillas. So just Aguero. Not sure who's on their bench, but just Sergio Aguero is the only change. It is the start of the group stage of the Champions Cup. Excuse me, Gareth. Yeah, I think so. It's the competition everybody wants to be involved in. So much money to be earned and so much... Vea, well. Vea hasn't scored yet for us, although, to be fair, I think he's only played one game. Use the run of Dembele there to send the defender. Oh, OK. Sergio Ramos just arrived. I've not used Aguero on FIFA 15, actually. I really enjoyed using him on 14. But I haven't had the chance to use him on 15. That's a good ball, though. You're going to have to win that, Jan. I don't know whether I did or not. I think I did win that. Yep, corner. Uh, it's scripted transfers, really. Aguero tends to either go to Real Madrid or to Bayern Munich on career mode in the first or second season, and then always ends up at Chelsea a few years later. Oh, that was my throw, was it? I didn't... Oh. They've still ended up in possession, and then we've got it back, and then they've got it back. That was weird. Uh, I'll probably stream some Rocket League during the week as well, yeah. Because that's the plan, is to have, you know, like the football manager come back in the evenings and then stream other games like Formula One and Witcher and Rocket League and GTA and COD and all sorts just in the afternoon streams. So that I get to play different games and not get completely worn down with just uh, FIFA, 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 FM, FM, FM. I actually get to play something else. And those of you that still like the FIFA and FM still get your FIFA and FM streams. Give it to KP's guys. I wanted to give it a crack there, but he's not got the, play, the space. And that wasn't meant for you, Balassi. It was meant for Murata, but never mind. First career mode is going to be Chelsea on FIFA 16 Gaming, dude. Although I'm going to, I'm going to have, um, you know, three series again from the start of FIFA 16. So I'm going to have the Chelsea series. I'm going to have a My Player series, and I'm going to have a different. Um, career mode series like not similar to the career mode RTG in the fact that with a small team but just uh, similar in the fact that I'm hoping that it will run for the entirety of the year and I'll just go from team to team within that save that's the plan and then obviously the main 1pm upload will be initially Chelsea and then we'll just work our way around other teams Oh, Yannick. Oh, hello. I love I love it when they do that sometimes. They just do that cheeky little dink over the 
Why have you done that stumbling animation? They do that little thing over the uh, defender's foot as they run in for you. Oh, he's done me there. I thought Danny Carvajal was going to turn back inside then. Just like he did there. Oh, hello. Morata's in. Is Casillas coming? He's not. Chance to make it one. How have you done that, Alvaro? How have you not got that on target? How has he not got that on target? Uh, the race will be at 1 o'clock tomorrow, Spicy. Program will start at 12, and the race will... S lights out is at 1pm for European races. Race always starts at 1pm in Euro with European races. Oh, Julian, that wasn't exactly what I was after there. So we've got both Luka Modric and Gareth Bale playing against their former sides here. And technically, I guess, Ezequiel Garay playing against his former side because he used to be at Real Madrid, didn't he? I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you're having trouble with delay, then um, just refresh the stream, Owen. And the, the delay will sort itself out. Pretty sure there's a quite good guy used to play for um, for Real Madrid. I'm sure there are those of you in the chat that will be able to either Google it for me or actually already know offhand that he did. Uh, Cristiano. Oh, that that was a bit. Well, it was very like Cristiano, but not exactly what he needed in that particular situation. We'll take that to Carlos Vela. Playing against familiar opposition for him, obviously, having just, just arrived here from Spain. Excuse me, Danny. And we'll do a fake Rabona to send Danny Carvajal. Whip the cross in. There's Murata. Strange attempt at a header, but hopefully Dembele can beat Bale in the air, which he can't. Hey, Gareth is quick. Just don't let him on his left. Don't let Sergio in on his right. Oh my day, Sergio Aguero. The dribbling feet from Aguero there were incredible. He's just completely schooled both my defenders there. That was crazy. Good attempt at a shot as well. Carvalho's touch letting down. Uh, there isn't going to be a set starting time for afternoon streams. It's just going to be whenever I tweet out and say I'm streaming now, because obviously if I've got stuff to, if I've got stuff I need to get done for the channel, for YouTube, then I'll obviously start later than uh, a normal day. And also it depends what time I wake up as well, because you know what my sleeping schedule is like because of the ME. So I'm not going to have a set starting time. Not going to have a set starting time for um, for afternoon streams. You just have to follow me on Twitter and follow the you. That was a weird hitter. Follow the uh, the Twitch channel, and then you'll get a notification every single time I go live. He did play for Madrid. I thought he did. Thank you for googling that for me, Stuart. Uh, if you check the uh, box underneath the stream, Max. Or if you're watching on tablet or mobile, check the uh, the info on the right-hand side of the stream. Uh, you'll be able to see what all the subscriber perks are. I've added a couple of them. I've added a couple new ones. Uh, the first one, obviously, is that past broadcasts are now only available to uh, subscribers because all the footage goes up on YouTube anyway. So um, you know, it just allows me to offer an extra perk to subscribers. And I need to actually send a message out to all my current uh, Twitch subs, but. Um, if you subscribe to me on uh, Twitch, then uh, I'll drop you a follow on Twitter as well. I'm, I need to send out a message to all my current guys to say, let me know what your Twitter is, and I'll, I'll drop you a follow. But that's what I'm planning on doing, is uh, following all my Twitch subscribers on Twitter. So obviously, if, if I eventually end up over the course of the years with two or 300 subscribers on Twitch, then I will be following loads of people on Twitter. But just as an extra sub perk, allows me to offer you something extra, because I already have quite a few sub perks. But obviously, 
anything else I can offer as an extra incentive helps and makes it more enticing. Well, not necessarily enticing. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but, you know, it gives something back to you guys if you're going to give to me and offer uh, be subscribed. Why would you just ignore that? Oh, it's one of my most hated things on career mode. Or just on FIFA in general. Take a throw in and the player just runs underneath the ball. Sorry, Ronnie. Half time. This is a hard fought. Hard fought first half. Yeah, I, I guess blocking would be classed as interceptions, really, wouldn't it? You're intercepting a shot rather than intercepting a pass, but I guess it counts as the same thing. Or defensive positioning, along that, something along those lines. I'll give you a squad report after this game if you like, although nothing will have changed between now and the one we did at the end of the last stream because obviously we haven't progressed through an actual month. Tomorrow we'll progress through a month, but obviously if there's anybody here that hasn't seen uh, last week's footage or is new, then obviously I can do a squad report for you guys. We'll do that after this Real Madrid game if you like. This is obviously a group, group stage game though. We are still at the beginning of the season. We've got Real Madrid, Roma, and I can't remember who the third team in our group is, but I think it's someone like Anderlecht. Thank you, Timmy. Uh, I've already completed the GTA story, uh, JHWV, so I probably won't do any GTA story mode in the afternoon streams. The introduction of um, that new FIFA 16 feature, I don't know whether you've seen it in any of the footage that they've shown so far or any of the interviews that they've done so far, but you can, for FIFA 16, you'll be able to, like, if you commit to a slide tackle and clearly you've committed at the wrong point, you can actually recover from that slide tackle. So you'll slide in, but you can actually get back on your feet and then start chasing after the guy again, rather than just being completely out of the game. I, why does it do that? You hold the button all the way to the left, pass to the left, to the left back, and it still just passes forward. Like, are you actually retarded, Tim? That's what worked. And then even when you do pass it to your right back, he just ignores the ball and nutmegs himself. Sick. If they score from this, I will be so annoyed. Thankfully, Cristiano Ronaldo was pretty wasteful. Uh, I'm playing on Xbox One, Owen. He's being challenged now. Oh, that wasn't the best of crosses, but oh, I wanted to win that hit and knock it down to KP, wait on the edge of the box. Uh, I've only been streaming like 20 minutes, Jack. Pardon me. You ask one, if you ask one of the mods, they can do the uptime command for you in the chat. There you go, Pudding's already done it. Oh, Cristiano, that's a great shot. I'm just going to get rid of this if I can. We're under a bit of pressure here now. Don't give a free kick there, F. 
No, why would you just run into the ball, Kevin? All that has come from is the fact that Kevin Prince Boateng just ran into the ball rather than trying to take a first touch. Typical. Typical, typical. Was it KP? Like, yeah, there. The ball's dropped free, and he's just... Why has he done that? Just to, If he just takes the first touch there, then we can catch him on the counter-attack. But in, he just ignores the ball, runs into it, and it bounces to Sami Kadira, and then they score rather than us catching him on the counter. Me. Uh, no, I don't play fantasy football. Invariably, each year I end up setting one up. Max Simmons 23 just subscribed. Thank you very much, my man. Everybody in the chat needs to give you the cheeky thumbs up. Those other people that are already subscribed. Thank you very much, bro. Really appreciate that. If everybody could give the thumbs up in the chat, I'm kind of in the middle of a game here, so I, I can't at the moment. But when the ball goes out of play, I'll give you a cheeky thumbs up in the chat as well. And I think I just got a donation as well. I just heard the uh, the automated thing go off. So, ah, oh, the ball's just gone out. Let me just quickly pause to see if we did. We did. We got a one pound donation from Hugh E L or Hugh L or Hug Hill. I presume it's Hugh E L. Hugh L. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you for the pound, and also thank you to Maximus for subscribing. Really appreciate that, man. Ta very much. You are subscriber number thirty nine at present. We peaked at 30, no, we peaked at 46, didn't we, in the first month. And uh, since then, we've kind of been hovering around the, uh, hovering around the 38, 39 mark for a while. Obviously, when I get to 50 subs, I can make two extra um, subscriber emoticons. Which, obviously, I will do in due course. Uh, if you've got PlayStation Plus, you can download Rocket League for free right now. It's this month's PlayStation Plus game. It's Rocket League and Drive Club are the two games that you get for free this month with PlayStation Plus. Although, obviously, you're running out of time because um, the month is nearly over. But I'm going to bring Fakir on here, I think, because we could do with an extra introduction of uh, pace. And KP is getting a little bit tired, so I'm going to bring on Fabian Delph as well. There you go, Max, you've got your little symbol next to your name and everything. You should have access to the thumbnails now as well. Thumbnails? To the emoticons now as well. They're taking off Aguero now as well. As we make changes, they're making changes. It's go, it's go. Oh, Danny, he's done me there with a complete turn. That's a good cross as well. Bale. Oh, my God. Is that a corner? I think he pushed it onto the post. I think he pushed it onto the post. Winners. Thank you. Could really do with getting ourselves a goal back here because I don't want to lose my first group stage game. Although, to be fair, Real Madrid probably will win the group. It's more, as the ball goes through the cameraman, it's probably more um, Roma that we need to make sure that we get points off. Did I, oh, did I touch that? I didn't want to touch that. Uh, I don't really need a centre-back at the minute, but... You are right. Omar Toprak is a very good is a very good uh, defender. Make some nice football now. We just need to actually make the breakthrough. I might try a shot from distance here. Morata against his former former club. Didn't really dip. I wanted it to, did it? Hey, Pika Blue. Clear there from the 
I don't know whether they're going to look for a second. Apparently they are. If they're going to be trying through balls like that. Oh, yeah, Vertonghen almost got caught in possession there. Be nice if they actually committed a few people forward, so we could try and pick them apart on the counter. But nice feet from Delph. I see the run of Yannick Bellassi. He's in behind. We'll stand the cross up. Oh, deflected well by the defender. My phone just went off. Space here for Carlos Vela. Come on, Marcelo. Come get me. Oh shit, he did. He did a double step over instead of a single step over. Cristiano, coming for you. So, a little bit quicker than me. Yes, Musa. It's going to be thrown to them, though. Oh, they're holding it in the corner, are they? Okay. That's very un-Real Madrid-like in a, in a group stage game. Which, no, Jemez, go away. See the man in the middle. Try and pick him out. Oh, Fakir. The chance, the one chance for this second half. One chance for this second half. Benzema is chasing me down something like a madman, possessed. Oh, that's such a heavy ball. I just tried to play that into feet and he's played it too much. Played it too far. Prediction? Prediction for what, Elliot? You just said prediction, bro, and I don't really know what you want me to predict. <laughs> oh, for kids to take a touch. Oh, final whistle's gone. Twice there, I tried to pass the ball to Fakir to try and create one final opportunity and it just wouldn't, wouldn't present itself. Yeah, Arsenal beat Leon 6 0 today. Leon aren't the side they used to be, though, unfortunately for them. They're not the side they used to be. Which is a shame for them, but. Like you wiped the squad report, didn't you? To be fair, three shots when they had 11 and none of ours were on target. We didn't really deserve any from that one, did we? Oh, shut up, Anthony. You'll get more football soon. Play against Fulham, actually, if you like. Why not? Oh yes, got your pull. GG chess. Give you a cheeky squid report. I don't think anyone's grown that much this season yet. Like I say, what is the date? Only on the 19th of September. So no one's really gonna ha going to have had the chance to grow yet, to be completely honest. Tim Crawl's our number one goalkeeper. Calgary won his pre-season game 23-0. Wow. That's pretty one-sided. Oh, predictions for the Chelsea PSG game. Absolutely no idea, mate, to be completely honest. I don't really care for... I don't really care too much or care for uh, pre-season games to, at all, really, to be honest. Pre-season games are more for the fans, aren't they, really? Just to try and do a pre-season tour somewhere else that isn't in the UK so that fans elsewhere get the chance to go and elsewhere on the, in the globe get the chance to go and see uh, their team play. Uh, 
<laughs> Say I'm going to do a squad report. I've just sat here on Tim Crawl for two minutes talking about Chelsea. Uh, why is Kyle Walker unhappy? Underpaid. All right. Well, maybe we'll offer Kyle Walker some more money then. Uh, he's actually grown by plus one. So has Garay since he's been here. What did we play for him? Oh, yeah, 8.7 plus Kabul. Although we used Kabul as make weight in three different deals because FIFA is stupid. Uh, Jan Vertonghen is actually growing slightly on an individual stat basis, but not overall. Danny Rose is unhappy. Does he feel he's underpaid as well? Yes, he does. Have I got any... Let me just quickly see how much... We've got money. Or some money. What do they want? It was Danny Rose and... Who was it that felt underpaid? Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker and Danny Rose. Danny Rose, Kyle Walker, Danny Rose, Kyle Walker. They're right next to each other. Kyle Walker refused a contract. Okay. I don't even remember offering him one, but fair enough. Uh, crucial first team player, just to make sure he signs it. And Danny Rose wants 60 grand a week. I mean, yeah, sure. It's weird. Right, anyway, back to squad report. Now we'll get halfway down the, li down the list, and there'll be other players that want to pay rise as well. And now he's very happy. What? Okay, unless it, he's changed to very happy because I've just offered him a contract, but that I haven't advanced at all, so I don't know. Moussa Dembele, not really growing at all, but still a very good player. Good all-rounding, all-rounding, a good all-round midfielder. Uh, KP, even better all-round midfielder. Fantastic player, really, really like Kevin prince Boateng. Carlos Vea we brought in for 20 million plus Aaron Lennon, which is actually is a bargain, to be completely honest. Uh, he's only played that one game for us, I think, in the Champions League. Oh no, he's played in the Capital One Cup and in the Barclays Premier League as well. So far yet to score or get an assist, but he will do in, in time. Uh, Yannick Balassi, he's grown one as well. He's continuing to grow. Oh no, he's up two. Yannick, hello. I didn't realise he was growing that well. Long shot's up two. Shot power up two. Ball control and dribbling look really good now. And his acceleration's gone up one as well. He is quick. He's quick. Uh, Julian Drax is up two so far this year as well. One goal, two assists for him. Both coming in the BPL. Julian Drax has the potential to get to like 89, 90, doesn't he? I've never really... Uh, maximised his potential on any FIFA. I've, I barely even signed Julian Jackson, to be honest. I think I signed him last year on AC, with AC Milan, but other than that, I've not really bought him or used him. But I really enjoy playing with him, so maybe I should do so more often. Yen um, Yenik, Alvaro Morata has scored twice so far this season and got two assists. That hasn't grown at all so far. Uh, Fakir hasn't grown at all so far, but he was very good for us last year. Deandre Yedlin is growing slightly on an individual stat basis but not technically where I would like him to get slightly better in the tackle but his physical stats are incredible to be completely honest apart from his reactions uh, Vieto, three goals in two games fair enough uh, Vlad Shirishez he's lost his starting place in the side thanks to the arrival of Ezequiel Garay but he still should be fine to, uh, to play in that rotation role Dragovic hasn't played for me yet those two Champions Cup games will be qualifiers that he played with um, Lokomotiv Moscow, which is where he was before he came into us. Because obviously he didn't play against Real Madrid and that was the first Champions League game that we've played this season. So uh, it's growing slightly though, but hopefully he can be a good all-rounder for us as well. Centre-back and CDM, because his passing's okay and clearly he's good in the tackle. Fabian Delft starting to grow on an, individ on an individual stat basis, but he's a cheeky snake, isn't he, having uh, gone to Manchester City now in real life. Uh, Eric Lamella growing slightly. Scored two goals in four games, although they might have both come in the same game. I think they both came against Arsenal on the opening day. Uh, Vakadimos is growing, is growing, but I haven't played him yet. Uh, Danilo Nico is growing as well, but not played him. I tried to get him out on loan. Anthony Martial, I presume it's just yeah, lack of matches that uh, he's annoyed about. I'm actually going to start him against Fulham. Uh, who's injured on 18 minutes? I'm not really too sure what you're talking about. Spicy. 
uh, Ben Davies. I wanted to replace him if I could with uh, Jose Gaia, but we ran out of time and money in the transfer window. Eric Dyer, not going to play as much for me now as he was last year because obviously we've brought in Ayman Abdenor, and Dragovic and Ezequiel Garay. Uh, Felipe Anderson is out still for another 10 days, like we saw earlier, but he started to grow as well. He got, only got a 5.9, though, in the Cup at One Cup game he played for us, which is strange. Although, to be fair, he came off quite early with an injury, didn't he? So, fair enough. Oh, Delph. Yeah. He, um, was it hamstring? I think it was hamstring for Fabian Delph, wasn't it? In that friendly for City. Uh, I'm an Abdenor, not grown yet, not played yet, I don't think. Nope. Uh, Andros Townsend, not played yet this season, not really growing. I tried to get rid of Andros Townsend, couldn't. Christian Eriksen, I tried to get rid of. Nobody wants to buy him, apparently. 83 rated 23 year old with brilliant individual stats. Nobody wants to buy him. Uh, Michel Vorm is unhappy because he's not playing football, but he'll play this next game against Fulham. And then we've only got the one youngster out on loan. Uh, I don't like Mbolo, Celtics. I don't like Mbolo. I played with him when we did the PSV stream. We did a stream of PSV, didn't we? And we bought Mbolo, but I wasn't, I wasn't really too keen on him, to be honest. I wasn't really too keen on him. Uh, let's play Fulham. <laughs> actually, I might go for a wee, actually, quickly, because I drinking too much water, but I'll be back in a couple of minutes and then we'll take on Fulham. So, uh, BRB.
do 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 Is Odeturin allowed to play in pre-season friendlies for Barca? I never even thought about pre-seasons. Oh me. To be completely honest. Because of course he, he's not allowed to... He's not allowed to register to play competitive games, but I'm not sure whether he has to be registered to play pre-season games, like friendlies. Because obviously you can play trialists in friendlies, and you don't have to register those, I don't presume. Just throw anyone into a friendly game, can't you? So he should be allowed. He should be allowed to play in the friendlies, either to run. Or are they not sending him back out on loan to Atleti for six months? Although I don't really know why they would do that, would they? Considering that he would then be a direct rival. Uh, we're playing yellow against Fulham. But we'll play a rotated side. I said I'd give Martial a game, didn't I? Because he was whining at me. Uh, play the middle on the right. And we'll play Andres Townsend on the left. Um, I'm tempted to play Dragovic at CDM. In fact, I think I might. I'm going to play Dragovic there. And then put Chiriches in for Dembele. Going for Draxler, is that the entire team? No. There's uh, Andre Edlin and Ben Davies. Eric Dyer could go on the bench. Christian Eriksen could go on the bench. Uh, put Vlacadimos on the bench as well. May actually bring him on, Vlacadimos. Let's start uh, Michel Vorm as well. See you, Owen. Thanks for coming out, bro. Should you get F1 2015 for PC on a Lenovo laptop? I don't know what a Lenovo laptop is, to be honest, Ollie. I wouldn't recommend buying the game at all, really, at present, until it's either dropped in price or they've significantly patched it, because it is very buggy right now. But it depends what the specs of your laptop are. You'd probably be better off getting it on console if you haven't got it. A, um, a, a, you know, a upper spec, upper end spec PC. Obviously, if you don't have a console, then feel free to get it on PC, but it won't really look any better on PC unless you're running it on higher ultra. I don't know who's going to win the Hungarian GP tomorrow. Probably yeah! Lewis. That was legitness. Yeah. yeah, that was legitness. Yeah, it was. Another one pound from Max Simmons says had five pounds so subs and donated. Thank you very much, Max. Appreciate that, bro. It's very kind of you. Tab very much. Yeah, because the um, the subscription is about three pounds thirty, isn't it, Max? I think about three pounds thirty. It's five or four dollars ninety nine, which is about three pounds thirty at the minute, because the <laughs> the uh, currency conversion fluctuates up and down all the time with the dollar at the minute, which is annoying as a YouTuber. Because obviously, uh, with YouTube, you get paid in dollars, and then you have to convert it into pounds, and obviously, you get a lot less. Which sucks. Uh, Bettinelli, they're playing in goal. Hoogland at uh, right back. I don't know who that is. Hutchinson, Amarabieta, Kavanagh, Parker Christensen, Halberg, Meslu, Rodde Jaeger, McCormack. That's an odd start. That's an odd. An odd. Um, an odd team. I don't recognise a couple of names in there. Oh, it was 3.22, was it? So it's dropped. About a month ago, people were saying it was like £3.31. So it's actually cheaper to subscribe now than it was a month ago. But thank you for the subscription and the uh, donation, bro. I really appreciate that. Keeps me going. <laughs> Let's me do it for a living, so... It will go towards my internet bill, which allows me to stream. Because that ain't bloody cheap for some reason. Internet's fucking expensive these days. Or decent internet at least. First touch of the ball by Fulham, they kicked off here in the first half. 
You're a big Kimmy fan, aren't you, Spicy? Here is Hoogland. I don't know who he is. Don't recognise the name. Will you react to the ball, please, Andros? Thank you. Obviously, Martial did really well for me in my uh, series with MGH and Chani. But I haven't really used them as much in this series. He grew to 77, didn't he, in that uh, series with MGH and Chani, but he's still 74 in this. Although, to be fair, I think I set this up before he got his uh, upgrade. Did you get an upgrade? Pretty sure he got an upgrade. Or at least his career mode rating got an upgrade. I think when I signed him, he was 71 or 72. But I'm not sure. Might be mistaken now. I keep getting an itch just on the inside of my nose, and it's really driving me mad. Oh, shit. It's just there. Ricardo's your favourite, is it? I do like Danny Ricardo. Although I wasn't keen on him when he spun me out on the F1 game at Bahrain. That pissed me off. But I really like Danny Ricardo in real life. Just seems like a really nice guy. A lot of the a lot of the current drivers all seem like they're, you know, really nice guys. There aren't really there are not ordinarily a few years ago there was like you'd say there was five or six guys that were quite standoffish and didn't really seem too approachable and just kind of they were just raw competitors, whereas these days, you, th you know, almost every driver is, <laughs> almost every driver is, seems like, seems to be a really nice guy. I I thought Abdenor was going to head that into his own bloody net then. Glad he didn't. And I won't watch the Chelsea game tonight. I don't watch pre-season games. They don't interest me at all. They pay no reflection of what's... Oh, that's a lovely ball. Fakir is in behind. That was a brilliant ball by Martial. It was a lovely assist. We'll take that. A wild Ruben has arrived. Hey, hey, everyone. Hey, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. Where do I think Arsenal will finish this year? Fourth. They won't finish ahead of Chelsea. Man United have made some incredible signings, so I think they'll probably finish second or third. City are City, so they'll probably finish second or third. And then... Um, I mean, Liverpool have actually made a couple of good signings with Firmino and Benteke. But I don't. I still don't know whether they'll be able to challenge for Champions League. I mean, if they can keep Daniel Sturridge fit, there's no reason why they can't. But they do need to improve defensively. And quite significantly defensively. Oh, couldn't beat me to it. I was going to put the up time. Arsenal won't finish second. Arsenal won't finish top two. They won't finish top two. They won't finish ahead of Chelsea and they won't finish ahead of Man United, I don't think. But City do need to improve this window. More so than just Raheem Sterling. If they get Kevin De Bruyne, then they could be a real force. Oh, it's nice feet from the Mela. I've not really got anyone to pass to here, so I'll ping it out wide here. Uh, we've played Real Madrid, Matty, and this is the second game we're playing against Fulham now. I'm going to give this a crack for Delph. I'm not going to get the opportunity to because I've been tackled twice. Here comes Dragovic. Da -da -da -da. Oh. Da -da -da -da. Cheers, Kavanagh. Oh, come on, Andros. What's oh, save me? Oh, I'll have a word, Rev. That's not a, that's not a foul. QPR could win the championship. Although Derby will be very strong next year. Again. What's my most viewers ever? Um, 
just over 800 JHW. It's the most I've ever had. I think it was when we first started this Tottenham series. The first first or second stream that we were streaming this one in the transfer window. We had 800 people in. Save that. Oh, Christ. I've hit the bar. Winners? Or not? Oh, that'll do. Cheers. Keep running, Andros. Or oh, get tackled by Amarevieta. I really rated Amarevieta when he was at Sevilla. No, Athletic. Bilbao. But um, when he moved to Fulham, it was crap. Like, really, really bad. Just couldn't cope with the pace of the Premier League at all. That is the best pass to feet I've ever seen, Eric. It's amazing, well done. Oh, hello. Nice little ball around the corner there. Oh. They just scored and it's been disallowed. Was he offside? Oh, I'm not sure. That was close. That was very close. Loads of space over there, though, for Eric Lamella. Bring it down well. Oh, completely send the defender. Left to turn inside you. Oh, no, he just got a nudge. And then the keeper just didn't react. Back heel it. Delve! Oh. The, the keeper caught, caught me out there. I took a heavy touch as I turned inside. I thought he was going to pick it up, so I just didn't bother to shoot. And then... That hit me in the chest. And then the uh, keeper just stood there. So I was like, oh, shit, I'll shoot then. By which time, he got blocked by the defender. Hit that pretty hard. That wasn't meant for Martial, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know who that is. Jeff Reiner Adelaide. I don't know who that is, bro. Oh, DeAndre, react to it and run. Thank you. Are you going to move, Martial? He did, but by the time I was in a position to play the pass to him, I got tackled. What was that? That was Martial's first touch. That was his first touch. That was mental. What are you doing, son? What are you doing? Shit, what are you doing? Caught out now. He's a heavy touch by Ronald Yeager. Thankfully, Andres Townsend is quick. Win that. Or, you know, don't. Don't worry, Ben. Just it off well with his header. Shit, he's done me there. Come here, Hugo. No. No. Oh, that touch from Danny Rose. That touch from Danny Rose just took it out. The, the striker was about to volley that into the back of the net. Who was the other Brazilian youngster Chelsea bought? We bought Nathan and we are pursu well, were pursuing, I don't know whether we still are, uh, Kennedy as well. But Nathan, Nathan is the uh, youngster we actually bought from, uh, oh, what are they called? It was Nathan and Kennedy, but oh, where was he from? Paranense or someone like that. Nathan, footballer, born 1996. It was, yeah, Atletico Paranense. I just forgot the Atletico bit, but yeah, Paranense. Oh, I don't want to do that. We actually haven't been that competitive in this game. I'm not playing very good football right now. Oh, this is good football. Oh, that would have been perfect if I could have dinked that over to Martial. Djokovic, can you... Put a foot in, maybe. Oh, shit, I've just split my centre backs there. 
Oh, yes, Dragovic has a, a good header. If you could react to the ball, please, Eric. I would really appreciate it. He's well offside, but they're going to get free kick here. Don't book him, ref. Thank you. Ooh. Up you go. Yes, I'm in. Andrews Townsend. He's giving it away straight to Dragovic. Going to ping it across. What sort of pass was that, mate? I mean, it went to its target, but... Yedlin just ignored the ball there as well. Meslu. Oh, I have no idea, Spicy. Absolutely no idea. The, the F1 2015 game's only been out two weeks. They'll be too busy trying to patch the piece of shit that they've tried to sell already, let alone trying to build something else for next year. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore F1 2015, but it's so broken. There are so many glitches and bugs, it's ridiculous. Just they didn't they didn't beta test it at all. They just built it and shipped it out the door. And there were so many things wrong with it, and we're like, oh shit, it's broken, is it? It's been two and a half weeks. They still haven't patched it. Oh, Martial, you're on side. Should have the pace to get away. And, oh, that's a heavy touch. Why did you take that random heavy touch? That was odd. Cost us the goal there. This is the second season R&B R &B star. Yeah, pretty much. Like every other game that comes out these days. Every other AAA title, anyway. Rather than trying to make a game and ship it out when it's finished, they ship it out to a deadline that's set by people that are the higher-ups sat around a, a desk and have no idea what it's like to make a game and how long it takes to make a game. So they just build it to a deadline rather than building it until the game is finished and then just fucking ship it anyway, even if it's broken as shit. And eventually, the average consumer will wake up and realise that we're getting screwed over. But at the minute, people just keep pre-ordering games that people know are going to come out broken and not working properly and not balanced. But people people just continue to pre-order this shit. And the, the longer people pre-order games like that, the longer the publishers are going to get away with it. The only way we can stop people shipping broken games is by not buying them. And not pre-ordering them. Don't give them the money, and then they'll actually finish the game and give you something worth buying. Right, come on, Martial, do better this time. Oh, he's not going to get the chance to because Bettinelli's going to get there. Going to be Vieta, one, I think. Actually, mm. I want to bring Eric Dyer on for Davis and put Chirich as a left back. I don't know why Chirich is his captain either, but never mind. Focus. Every position in Arsenal's team is stronger than Chelsea's apart from defensive mid and striker. I would have to disagree strongly to be completely honest. But I presume if you're an Arsenal fan and clearly I'm a Chelsea fan, then we would never agree. But as far as I'm concerned, that statement is highly false. Nice turn. You've got someone to pass to. Martial, take it around the defender. Shoot or fall over. That's the, that's the other option. You could just fall over. I don't know why you would want to just fall over. We literally just sold you our second best goalkeeper as well. So how you can make that statement even based off that first initial small fact is beyond me. Oh, Eric. I see Delph there. 
Fabian, that first touch is just atrocious. Still one nil here. The time almost up. Cool. I'm an Abdenor. 90 strength falls over in a physical battle with Ross McCormack. I think they'll go into the match in good mood, given how they've played out here today. No, you're offside, Anthony. I can't pass you. Now I can. Oh, that's a heavy pass. I'm not getting there, am I? Fuck no. I'm not playing very good football today, to be honest. At all. Uh, it's pretty on Ericsson. Actually, I'm, I need to take off Dragovic more so than anyone else right now. Uh, shite. Put Vieta to the cam. He can play, they are. No, you're right, Willian isn't better than Sanchez, but Hazard is better than Sanchez. Koscielny is not better than JT or... I'd say Gary... Koscielny, I would play Koscielny ahead of Gary Cahill. But not ahead of any anyone else. I'd even be, I'd even say I'd probably start Kurt Zuma with the way he was playing last year over Koscielny. See the run? You better be onside, Andros. Actually, Eric's there on the edge of the box as well. Hit that first time. Straight to the key, in. If you get Benzema, then you could arguably win the league, but you won't get Benzema. You won't get Benzema, you won't get Higuain, you won't get Vidal because he's already gone to Bayern. You're right, Alexis is better than Oscar William and Cuadrado. Well, I happily admit that, but to say Arsenal have a better player in every position other than CDM and striker is ludicrous. I'm quite happy to admit when stuff is, you know, I'm not the sort of fan to just blindly defend my players and say that everybody that plays for Chelsea is better than everybody else. I'm very, I don't want to say mature about things like that because it's not necessarily immature to be defensive of your team, but very open-minded, level-headed when it comes to things like that. But Hazard, Hazard is better than Alexis Sanchez. Czech isn't better than Courtois. If Czech was better than Courtois, we wouldn't have sold Petr Czech to Arsenal. End of. Courtois is better than Petr Czech. Why are you not happy, Musa? You play almost every single game. Ah, shut up, you old. You fucking sausage. Arsenal and Liverpool fans are pretty much on par for deludedness, Jonesy, don't worry. Word has been received from the representatives of Kyle Walker. The bad news is that we've been told Kyle Walker will not be entertaining a new contract with us at this time. He wishes to keep his options open regarding a move to another team. Okay. He's still got three years left on his contract, so he's fucked if he thinks he's going to be able to force a move out of me. I used to think it was three years. Yeah, he's still got th four years left on his contract. Good luck, Kyle. You're not going anywhere, son. Now we've got City in a cup. Now this is going to be a difficult game. No, not because we would obviously sell the older keeper. We told you Czech because he's not as good as Courtois. If Czech was better than Courtois, we would have kept Petr Czech and sent Courtois back out on loan. End of. 
You don't sell better players to direct rivals. That just doesn't happen. That's not a thing. Uh, let me start the same side that played against Real Madrid. I don't see a problem in that. Felipe Anderson's telling me he's good to play. I won't start him. I bet it won't even let me start him. No, it won't. So he's, he's come to me and told me I'm fit to play, boss. So I'll try and play him, and the game doesn't let me. Sick. Never mind. City in the Capital One Cup. Play. You're right, Courtois is too good to go out on loan. He's also too good to sit on the bench, which is why he played and Czech didn't. It's cup tie time in the English League Cup. And right. the there, um, there's not much, but I'm not saying Czech is shit. Czech is still world class. Czech is still one of the top five keepers in Europe for me. It's just that he's not above Courtois. You've got Neuer. Then you'd say Courtois, Hugo Lloris and David De Gea are probably on par with each other. And then you've got players like Czech and or keepers like Czech and Buffon and, players like, and goalkeepers like that. That you'd say were kind of joint fifth-ish. I'm not saying Czech is infinitely nowhere near Courtois. I'm saying they're almost as good as each other, but Courtois is the better Several keeper for me, personally. For uh, I don't need any mods, FIFA by at the minute. Thank you very much. Oh, they got Bo oh, of course they got Boney up top. I thought, hello. But City bought Boney, didn't they, in January? Just didn't really play that much. He was injured for a bit though, wasn't he, Boney? He signed for City and then was injured. And he was at the African Cup of Nations as well at the same time. Uh, Mbai? I don't know who that is. That's not Mbai Niang, is it? Is that Mbai Niang? Or is it just someone called um, someone else called Mbai? Yeah, I Mbai. I don't know who that is. Might be someone in the youth side. I know Lopez is someone in the youth team. They always Manchester City on Karima always play really, really strange teams. You killed a moth, R.I.P. Moth. R.I.P. Moth. Excuse me, Arturo. Can you leave me alone, please? Thanks. Oh, go on, Alvaro. That was nice. Go on, Yannick. Shoot, Yannick. Shoot. Um, oh, fuck. I was hammering the B button and he just wouldn't shoot. Oh, d shit. He ran inside me. I wasn't expecting that. Mbai. I don't know anything about Mbai. You'll have to let me know in the chat who he is and what his stats are like. Shouldn't have committed to that challenge. Oh, Tim! He's... I don't know how he's not saved that. I honestly don't know how Tim Crawl hasn't saved that. He's dived over the top of the ball. If you can't play music, why can you have the sub noise as a song? Because it's only a five or six second clip. You can use like 10 to 15 second clips of music and you'll be okay, you won't get done for copyright. But for me to have music in the background and play full songs, then I would get caught for copyright. And it would drive me and I'm sure almost everybody else in the chat insane if you got 15 seconds of a song and then 15 seconds of a song and then 15 seconds of a song and then 15 seconds of a song. Like, nah, I'm not going to do that in my in my streams. Yannick 
Like, with the afternoon streams, if I stream something that definitely won't go up on YouTube, then yeah, I'll put music in the background. I'm not, I've not got a problem with that. But at the minute, everything that I'm streaming is going up on YouTube, so I can't. <laughs> everyone else is entitled... Yeah, everyone is entitled to an opinion, even if they're wrong. You're still entitled to an opinion, but... Everyone else is also entitled to tell you that you're a complete fool for thinking what you think. You're still allowed to think it. And I'll defend your right to think it. But I'll also defend my right to tell you you're a complete idiot if you do think it. Freedom of speech works both ways. People always say, oh, freedom of speech, I can say what I want. It's like, yeah, you can. But so can the person you're trying to preach to. People never seem to understand that. Get there. Thank you, Kevin. That was important that you got on the end of that. Go on, Musa. Keep going. Where? Why? Why are you not making me any runs, Carlos? Looks like we're going to Yannick Balassi again. We can cut inside as soon as he gets it under control, though. Nutmegs James Milner, who then instantly gets the... Um... No one can tell me I'm wrong. Nazi mod go. God. Pony's just completely tearing me apart here. Why is your first touch so bad, Julian? Oh, we got a free kick. Trust me, Ollie, you don't want me to sing. I would burst your eardrums. I cannot sing. I am tone deaf. I'd love to be able to sing, because music's one of the most important things in life to me, but I can't sing. My sister can. My sister's a fantastic singer, but I can't hit a note to save my life. Which is ridiculously unfair. Why can't we both sing? It's not fair. Go on, Musa. Oh, you're left-footed, aren't you? Get it on your left. Have a ping from distance. Why can nobody shoot on target in my teams today? People just keep missing. Can't even hit the target. They don't score goals. I'm not really one for having a favourite song. To be honest, I don't have like a favourite song. I just have like favourite bands. And just love everything that they make. Oh, Carl, you were fast enough to get there. Murata, you're going to need to actually run into the box for me to cross it to you, buddy. You can't just stand there on the edge. Oh, why is your first touch so bad there? Like, the ball is just dropping to him at like two miles an hour, and his first touch goes straight to the opposition player. It's fucking ridiculous. You make me run, Marata. No. So you stand there, okay. There! Oosh! That was a hell of a shot. Makes you sound like such a fangirl. No. Just my favourite bands. I like everything that they've put out. Paramore, every album that Paramore have put out has been fantastic. Every album uh, that uh, Malu Knox have put out has been fantastic. Every, there are a few albums, like, occasionally you'll get a band who does a couple, like, an experimental album that you're not too sure about. Like, the, the way Linkin Park changed their sound wasn't overly to my liking, but I still enjoyed listening to their music. And I do like the new stuff, I just don't like it as much as the old stuff. Death of Anna, all three Death of Anna albums are absolutely fucking fantastic as well. Go on, Marata, go through that gap. Go on, son. Finish it. Willy Caballero is going to be a killer. Yumi at six, everything they've put out has been awesome as well. Uh, 
Uh, I do remember what happened the last time Chelsea played PST English Toast, yes. Oh my days, even when we do get it on target, there's someone on the line to knock it off. Go on, Kyle, give it a bash. How's he held on to that? Who's on the floor? Whee! Willy Caballero fell over him. I think it's Jan Vertonghen, actually. Which is annoying, because he's my best centre-back. But at least we have adequate replacements now as centre-back, thanks to that Kabul glitch. If Aguero was fit for the whole season, yeah, Aguero is incredible. It's that stupid ignore the throwing glitch. Aguero and Luis Suarez are probably the two best strikers in the world. You'd probably say Aguero and Luis Suarez. Because Messi isn't an out and out striker, is he? Messi's just a god. And Ronaldo's not a striker. But I'd say Luis Suarez and Sergio Aguero are the two best strikers in the world right now. <laughs> Personally, I think Daryl Randolph is. Now, Kane wasn't good enough earlier. Like, even at the beginning of the season, Harry Kane wasn't playing well enough to get into the first team. He just had a purple patch. The true test of Harry Kane's ability will be next season. He's either going to be a Wayne Rooney that bursts onto the scene and then is consistent for the next few years, or he's going to be a Michu who bursts onto the scene has one season of great goal scoring and then just doesn't score again. Finally, though, we have scored and it's 1 1. Kane isn't a half season wonder until proven otherwise. Kane is the real deal until proven otherwise. But he needs to be he needs to prove otherwise before he gets mentioned anywhere near the same sort of bracket as uh, Rooney, etc. He has the potential to be another Wayne Rooney. But he needs to prove that he can do it on a consistent basis. Scoring scoring goals for half a season doesn't make you world class. Oh, if I could have squeezed that through there. Who's my ISP? Uh, I'm on. I get BT Infinity, Chris. We're on BT Infinity too. I'm trying to pay attention to the chat. And what's going on on the pitch? And it's not really working too well. Yeah, that's the thing. You wouldn't say Messi was a striker, but he's definitely a forward. And Ronaldo isn't a striker, but he's definitely a forward. We're so blessed. I mean, we don't really appreciate it as much as we should, but we're so blessed to have people like Ronaldo and Messi playing at the height of their game at the same time in world football. Both of them are two of the best players that the planet has ever seen and they're both playing at the same time in the same league against each other and doing incredible things in world football we're so fortunate to have talents like that about at the same time and to be able to see them play every week thanks to like just the way that t television has grown over the past 10 15 years I'm just, I'm gutted that I didn't have, like, I wasn't as able to watch as much Spanish football when uh, Zidane and Ronaldinho were in their prime in La Liga, because those two players were remarkable. Ronaldinho in his early 20s was a fucking genius. He still is a genius, but... In his early 20s, he was next level. Yeah, 
I'm going to have to make a change in a minute, I think. Because I'd rather this didn't go to extra time. Although I'd rather not lose it. I'd rather it go to extra time than I lose the game. It's got a kick in it. Good lad. Uh, I probably won't be streaming in 45 minutes time, but see you later, English Toast. Oh, what, to see Ronaldo play live? See Messi play live twice. And he didn't fucking score against us. And we beat him 1 0 and drew 2 2. Fernando Torres has scored more goals against Barcelona than Messi has against Chelsea in Chelsea games. Lol. No! Caught. Negredo went for the overhead kick there. Murata, will you please make a run? Honestly, you are the laziest shithouse. Come on, Carlos. Come on, Carlos. We'll do a bit of a spin to beat that defender and get around the second one. Get it under control and finesse it into the bottom corner. No, but Dembele! Wow. Hits the top of the bar. Uh, I, no, Shakira. Sh Shakira. Shakiri is still at Inter, isn't he? It was El Shirawi that's gone to Monaco. Oh, sure, has gone to Monaco. You've seen Ben Watson, who's a FA Cup winner. <whistles> Let's take Vuitton get off. I'll put Vieta on as well. Sorry, Felipe Anderson, you'll have to wait. Milner. Substitution for Spurs coming up. Uh, no, I haven't got Chelsea season ticket. I haven't been... Uh, well enough to go to a football game for... Fuck! I haven't been well enough to go to a football game for uh, three years now. I used to go every week to Chelsea and Cambridge United games. But I can't at the minute. Uh, if, you're if you're troubling, if you're struggling with uh, lag on the stream, either refresh it or drop the quality that you're viewing it in. Uh, Kian. Uh, if you're watching on source, drop it to high, or if you're watching on high, drop it to medium. And that will solve the lag. Well, obviously, if it's lagging, you might not have heard me say that. But Pudding just mentioned it in the chat as well. Uh, no, Shakiri to Stoke is off. Shakiri to Stoke is, off, is uh, a dud move now. I think either Shakiri couldn't agree personal terms or. I can't. I can't remember what the reason reasoning for it was, but uh, Shakiri to Stoke is off. He's still at Inter. Yeah, El Shirawi has gone to Monaco on loan. It's a loan move with a view to buy, I think. Oh, I think I've hit that too long. That could have been a perfect ball. Yeah, Shakiri's linked with bloody everybody. Everton getting De La was a great move for them. Oh, KP. They will be pleased if they win it, but hopefully they're not going to. Oh, go on, Vieto. Ah, why did I not shoot? Fuck. Yes. Oh, ref, have a word with yourself. 
signing of the windows, Glenn Johnson to Stoke. Yeah, I have to agree. I forgot who's playing in the Community Shield. It's Chelsea versus Arsenal. We won the league and they won the FA Cup. I've got that sub song stuck in your head. It sticks in your head, Max. The whole song itself is fantastic. Oh shit. Stop looking at the chatches. Oh my god. That was close to three. Time now. It's now or never. Come on, Yannick. There's the man in the middle. Vieto! Mm, straight to keeper. Unfortunately, I couldn't give you another Finn wish. We're out of the Capital One Cup, sadly. Why am I playing as Tottenham? Well, why not? <laughs> they had a decent team. What's the sub song? The sub song is... I'll type it in the chat so you can... Uh, it's... White Iverson by Post Malone. If you YouTube it, you'll find it. Game rescheduled? Why? Oh, by a day. Cool. That was worth it then. Please don't be out for long. Five days. Good. It's fine. For time is only out for five days. Mateo Cassio has gone to Portsmouth. Portsmouth? Have we got any scout reports? Yeah. Uh, this guy, Colin McLean, looks like he could be decent. He also, on the flip side of that, could be terrible. Who's the guy that's gone to Portsmouth? Ostinali went to Anderlecht, didn't he? There's a potential here for a couple of these youngsters to be really good, but there's also the potential for them to be shit. 62 to 84. Well, if he's gone to Portsmouth, then that says to me that he's probably towards the lower end of that 62 to 84. Davide Reinthaler, though, he went to Barcelona. Which is annoying. We've got one guy, don't we? Sebastian of Avor. Pretty sure... I might be wrong, but haven't we got a youth player? Haven't we got a youth player in the career mode Road to Glory called Sebastian of Avor, who's a goalkeeper rather than a right mid? Am I going insane, or is that right? Pretty sure I have Sebastian of Avor. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'll have to check at a later date. But anyway. Um, I'll show you the league table. We are currently top of the league, thanks to that um, win over whoever we played earlier on. Fulham, there we go. Well done, Chez. Remembered it. Now, the gameplay is lagging. You're not, though. It shouldn't be, bro. It's not lagging for me. Well, it's not been lagging for me all night. Everything's been fine. I have the stream open in front of me. I have my OBS up so I can see what's going out live. And then next to that, I've got the Twitch page open and I can see what's going on on the Twitch page as well and nothing's been lagging for me it's been fine but anyway that is going to uh, bring tonight's stream to a close though obviously we'll be streaming FIFA again tomorrow at the same time 8.45pm and the next F1 stream Kian, will be Monday afternoon I would think it'll be in the afternoons next week anyway I'm, pres I'm probably going to stream F1 in the afternoon 
it will probably be. I'm going to stream things like F1 and uh, CODs and GTA and Rocket League and Destiny and anything really. And Witcher. Did I say Witcher? I don't. I can't remember. Uh, OBS is just the recording so the software I use to stream with. QS Dark. Uh, FM will be back Monday night, Mr. Fun Mank. FM will be back Monday night. So if you are wanting to see Football Manager again, then Monday night is the time to watch it. But yeah, that's going to bring tonight's stream to a close. Really appreciate all the support tonight. Thank you to uh, Max for uh, not only subscribing, but the donation as well. We also had a donation from uh, Hugh and from uh, Irish Tiger HD as well. So uh, thank you very much to all of the guys that uh, donated and subscribed tonight. Thank you to you guys that watched as well. And I'll see you tomorrow, I suppose. Hopefully.